I'm going to be going over the new version 3 of the Philogix PBR Painter Pro. I'm going to show you a couple of really cool tricks. I'm going to go over the anchor system and then we'll just go over the basic features again because I don't presume that everybody that's seen my last video is going to see this one. So we'll go over a few basics, but just bear with me. We'll keep the video short to the point and get you some good information. So let's jump right in. But just like any other add-on, you've got to go into the edit, go into your preferences, and then go to add-ons, and then click install once you've downloaded it. Now, over here at the actual page where I bought it, uh, it's 35 bucks, great deal, amazing. A lot of different versions. I've been teaching the 2.0.3, but I'm gonna go over the 3.0.3 today, and there'll be a couple of tutorials on that. We're not gonna go over everything in one video. Try to keep them short and sweet. So go ahead and jump on over there. It's $35 one time, and then you have all the upgrades for life. And if you're gonna get a subscription to something like Substance Painter, you're gonna pay monthly anyways or yearly. And this is a one-time fee, so when new amazing features come out, you're locked in, you're good. So back to what we're doing, version three right here. Got it installed, and it's just like all the other versions. Before you do anything, you have to hit Control Save and have a save point. So come up and save as, pick whatever name you want, and then save, and then you're able to name the material and add a shader. And we'll just call this one test one for now. Don't have to have any fancy names. Now what I want to do is get in here and bake, right? So all I gotta do is highlight these, and I actually already did my bake. So you highlight all these, click bake. You can choose any one of these settings. Obviously, if you are down here at like half K, if you will. Uh, that's not going to be very good resolution. 1K is pretty good, 2 or 4. I have noticed that even on my uh, other laptop, which is extremely slow, there's no GPU in it, not like my 3060 NVIDIA I've got now. Um, I can go all the way to 4096, no problem. But even on the slower PCs, 1024 not only looked pretty good, but it, it, it baked out pretty decent. You could bring the quality down to 4 or 6 or something reasonable, and then bake that and continue following along. Pause this video if you need to. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to drop in a base layer and one of the wonderful things about the uh, new version is that he, the guy that did it, uh, he really organized this uh, very nicely now. So you've got more smart materials compacted into one area. So like if you went in and just grabbed your aluminum and you want to switch it, you don't have this extensive menu down here. You just go into one spot, right? So now if you want to change that up, you can change it to anything that you wish. Now, what we're going to do is go over the um, layer system as far as anchoring. And I want to get something not the iron hammered. I'm going to choose something where this will show up really nice. And I'm thinking bone. <laughs> with the uh, stylized bone and smart materials as well. So you're not really missing out with the uh, older versions. It's just going to be better organized. He's added in the ID maps. So there's some newer features. Obviously things get a little bit better and uh, under the channels, it's actually gonna tell you what it is now. So if you were to go under here, you'll have uh, better descriptions. So just a quick overview. Uh, you've got obviously smart materials, right? And these are some presets and they just are the way they are. And if you wanted to grab one of these smart materials and modify it, then you can do that. But there are generally only a few controls on them like roughness, dirt, curvature, things like that. And some of them have more like the paint, uh, peeled paint has some pretty good stuff. Then you've got custom layers, 
where you can come on in and you can add uh, color layers, you can add image, you can add anchors, IDs, and filters. And so the opacity will control some of those as well, some of the features. So the opacity is very important and you'll need to understand that. Now this is also a layer stack system so you can move things up and down and that will actually change the entire um, outlook of your model from beginning to finish. And so you'll need to sometimes bring certain materials all the way to the bottom to stack them. And real quick, like for this, you can identify this as a custom layer because it looks like little layers of paper. And this one has the little circle on it with the shiny spot denoting that is a regular uh, smart material. So I could actually just delete that and the bone is still there. So what I'll just do is I'll call this base one and I can put bone in there. That way I just know what it is. Now real quick, what we'll do is we'll go over um, the anchor system. So I'm going to drop a layer on to the base. And right here is the base, then metallic roughness, emission, the alpha channel, the height, the normal, and then your layer mask, right? So what we want to do is grab this little spot right here. We're going to denote the layer, the custom layer, as an anchor. So you just click the anchor button. Now nothing happened because we haven't done anything to it yet. All right, so now I've got the base material named. I'll go ahead and rename this to anchor one so that way if you have more then you can do that and this layer right here this custom layer denoted as an anchor and what you can do is grab some paint and what we'll do is you just click the, um, the add the image layer here and I'm going to click new all right and this will come up 1024 but you can just left click and drag down leave the mouse right there hit the right arrow then hit shift and number eight to get the asterisk and hit two and that's multiplication and blender will read that if you hit enter you've got 2048 or 2k just hit ok from there and now everything turns black don't worry go ahead and click paint and now what you're going to want to do is if you've got blender kit or something like that and you've got some brushes you can just grab anything you want i'll grab the tree bark for this and i'm going to paint some tree bark and I'll paint half of the Suzanne at this size and then I'll hit F to bring my brush up and I'll paint the other half a little bit larger. That way we can just see some different height information once we get it all on there. And maybe even some smaller areas here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to cover it up so you can get a good idea. All right, that actually looks pretty nice. So I'll X that out. I'll go ahead and hit finish. And so now you don't have any height information because the anchor has not been named yet. So go over to the height area and it's already an anchor. So you don't have to like do anything. You're already on height. Just come down here to the actual anchor layer and add that. And still nothing happens because down in the parameters you have to grab anchor one which is what we named base color and now you've got all this wonderful height information showing up and from here you'll definitely want to like clean up the opacity a little bit and so I would go back over to the base kind of mess with that opacity and bring your bone color back just a little bit and I think all that looks pretty good and if you want it obviously a little bit more in depth like different colors whatever you can darken it back down if you want to try to achieve some of those different colors like you had like that wood right there looks pretty cool and let's just see how this goes with the rust material yeah so if you wanted to just throw another base on there well there you go and now you've got the bump the AO and some other things to work with as well I have no idea why you would have uh, rusty wood but this is the, um, the benefit of having a layer system. You can just do what you want. So it's whatever you're trying to achieve. And I'll go back over 
to the bone material for now. And like I said, you just kind of play around with the opacity and get what you want. And over here in the height, if you don't want that to be as pronounced, let me grab the anchor actually and be under height. And now I can mess with it. If you don't want it to be as pronounced, you can bring it down a little bit more. Or if you want it to be accentuated, you can bring it up. So I hope that explains the anchor system a little bit better so that way you can anchor layers as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe, smash that like. If you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate everybody. I see my uh, subscribers have gone up, I think like a week ago, I was at like 50 or 60. So I really appreciate everyone. And I will be back with plenty more tips going through the different systems in the new version three of Philo Philogix PBR Painter Pro.